This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Beat Magazine. We've got a special guest, David Gibbons, VP of Marketing at Ustream. How are you doing, David? Very good, Ryan. Thanks for having us on. Thank you. So tell us about Ustream. I know you guys have been around, I think, since about 2007 or so, but, but give us a little background on you guys. Sure. Uh, Ustream has been around since 2007, and it was originally created as this site where anyone could go to generate live video streams and to stream them to the rest of the world. And uh, that's you know a great history for the company, but in the last couple of years, we've been concentrating on a very different mission. We've been taking this platform that is actually now the largest live video platform on the internet and turning it into something that companies can use, that broadcasters can use, that enterprises can use. And as every company is starting to become more and more of a media company, it's really become a, a great direction for us and something that people are very interested in getting involved in. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the broadcast side of things, how broadcasters could utilize your service. Yeah, sure. You know, broadcasters are often looking for a couple of different things. One is they like to find a way to easily get their existing linear TV channels to stream online. And we do that for a number of different broadcasters around the world, particularly for broadcasters who are looking to reach an audience outside of their home country. So if they're trying to get a global audience and have a streaming service that can reach everybody who's interested in their content yet no longer lives in that home country, uh, then Ustream provides a great way for them to do that. The second thing that broadcasters are often interested in doing is to provide some you know, some sort of you know, shoulder content, some stuff that's not exactly what's on the channel, but it drives interest in the channel, it creates exposure for the channel, and it gets viewers interested in going to seek out the channel content itself. And we do that for companies like Discovery Communications. Uh, we even did it for the SEC Sports Conference where they created some commentary content around the games, even though the games were on uh, regular cable TV channels, in order to drive more interest and a better consumption experience for people watching the games. Tell us about Ustream Align. It looks pretty interesting. Yeah, you know, so earlier on I said companies are increasingly Enterprises are increasingly behaving like media companies, and we're finding that to be so true. There are so many companies that are interested in generating media where they're not from a media creation background, and Ustream is aligned, uh, Align is designed exactly for that. So if you are a company that feels like you're going to do a better job communicating with your employees, particularly a, you know, a workforce that might be spread around the world in different offices, by using a TV-like experience of video as opposed to you know, sending them PowerPoint decks or having them join a, a teleconference, then Ustream is great for that because we let you stream HD video to multiple offices, to people outside those offices, on their mobile devices, on their desktops, and do something like a big company meeting or a CEO town hall where everyone can view and they have an experience that meets up to kind of the modern consumer expectation of how great online video should look. I'm looking on your website right now and I see that uh, I'm seeing chroma key capabilities uh, for something called U Producer. Yeah, it's actually Ustream Producer is its full name, and we use the U logo sometimes in front of it. Yeah, Ustream Producer is a bit of software that anybody who's tried using uh, Wirecast will be familiar with. It's basically an all-in-one production switcher and graphics software package. Uh, you run it on your client computer. It can bring in sources that you can capture through uh, capture cards, HDMI sources, SDI sources, and then you can combine those with overlays, with green screens, with, say, PowerPoint decks, with uh, video files that you might want to play back locally and in one place you can title everything and switch stuff and combine cameras and do picture in picture and, and all those other great features and uh, produce a really great looking webcast or video stream that you can then feed into the Ustream network. And tell us about the uh, the live ad system if you would. Yes certainly so live ad is a technology that uh, solves a problem that's really quite difficult for people to solve when they're doing online video. Um, there's a lot of options for creating and streaming your online video but once you've made it, you have to get people to watch. And that turns out to be a very difficult problem because there are so many things that people can do once they're, you know, when they're on the internet, they can watch so many different channels, look in so many different places, check their email, all that other stuff. Uh, so if you're creating a, an engaging live video stream and you want to capture an audience for it, Live Ad basically solves that problem. We let you take the live video or a recorded video if you want to, put it into a rich media ad unit and then distribute that ad unit on the internet, wherever you think your audience might be. So if it was, say, sporting content, you could distribute it on sites that you know the people interested in that sport are likely to be uh, visiting. And that means that they will open up a web page to, to check the news as they would normally do and see your event streaming live in the ad unit. And that, as you can imagine, is you know, it's very... Uh, it draws you in as an experience. It really kind of captures your attention in the same way that the bar, uh, the TV in a bar room kind of draws your eyes away from the other people in the bar room. 
and people can instantly see your event, start to watch, click through to your site if they want to, or just watch in the ad unit. And uh, that really drives the audience to a, a very, very large size, depending on how you distribute that. We've done events using that live ad technology that have captured up to 20 million viewers, uh, depending upon you know, how broad the event was and what the event organizer wanted to get. I didn't realize you guys provide production services. Yes, we do. So, you know, uh, like I said a little earlier, a lot of companies that were not really traditional media companies are starting to produce media in a much, much higher spec format. So, you know, we, we even have customers, for example, that manufacture auto parts. And as you can imagine, as a business, producing video hasn't really been their priority. So when we have a customer like that and they're feeling a little nervous about the process of production, we organize the production for them. Um, it's not something that we um, want to do as a mainstream activity. We mostly want to help people to use video online. But if that's the barrier, we want to solve that problem for them and make sure they can do it. David, thank you so much for spending uh, your afternoon with us here at Broadcast Beat. Again, David Gibbons, VP of Marketing at Ustream. Thanks, Ryan. It was my pleasure.